Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Dan. I just filmed another video and had to stop because I was crying. And now it's just gonna turn into another video because of what I was crying about. So if you've read the title, I'm assuming you're either a person, a parent of a trans child, a trans person, or just a supporter, or you're transphobic and you're here to make fun of me. That works too, I guess. Thanks for the views. I wanted to, like, make something to express how fucking bad it feels to not have accepting family. I don't know if I've really talked about it on YouTube at all, but I moved out of my mom's a month before I turned 16. I moved in with my grandma. At this, at this time, I was obviously out already. I've been out since I was 14, I think I came out. But I've been out for a long time, <laughs> probably about four years, and I'm eight months on testosterone, and I still hardly have any family <laughs> that I can, like, openly talk to about it. Okay, I know this is, like, kind of serious, like, I'm, like, actually crying in this, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> My mom's getting better with it, and her husband's getting better with it. Which I didn't expect. Um, I came out to my six-year-old cousin. I know it says five. I, it was a typo. I came out to my six-year-old cousin as female to male. And all I really said was, I'm going to get on medicine that's going to make me look and sound more like a boy. And she had a... She, she doesn't understand. She's six. I understand that she's not going to know what it means um I told her that she couldn't tell her mom or our grandma and she did and her mom my aunt who I used to be really close with refuses to acknowledge that I exist doesn't let me talk to my cousin who's like my little sister and my grandma who I lived with for the last three years. I'm still not okay with it. Okay, I'm honestly just doing this like over this because one, it's kind of funny too. I look like trash. Um, so here's the thing. I'm not trying to make my family look like bad people. What they did was very not good and I really don't appreciate it at all. Yeah, um, but... I know I'm sending this to at least my grandma. When she sees it, she's going to tell me to delete it. Just telling you right now, I'm sorry. I'm not deleting it. I'm sharing my story to help other families not make the same mistake that you guys did. So it's educational purposes. Please just stop taking it personally. I know you're going to instantly. Just please do not. Thanks. If it wasn't for the support I had online and of my few friends, I would not alive my grandma pretty much raised me and she still refuses to call me anything other than my birth name it fucking sucks because i don't want to cut her off at this point she's doing me more harm than good and i've tried explaining it to her i've tried giving her scientific evidence of Taking her to therapy with me, gender therapist, psychiatrist, psychologist, pediatrician, fucking, I've tried everything, and nothing works. <laughs> I told her, if by the time I have top surgery, which June 11th, unless it's moved up, yay. She's not at least starting to call me her grandson. I'm gonna stop talking to her. I don't like crying, and I don't like people seeing me cry, but I think it's necessary to share this for other kids that are gonna be going through the same thing as me. Yeah, I know, sorry, this is weird. Like, I never do voiceovers or anything. Um, I know people are gonna make fun of me for this video. It's literally educational. Please, like, try not to. <laughs> this was very hard for me to like film and edit and upload and everything so like please just like try to you know 
be as nice as possible about this, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, you can't hear, like, anything I'm saying in this, so I'm just gonna <coughs> probably voice over, like, most of, or, like, the rest of the video, that seems like a cool concept. Um, yeah, it, it, it really doesn't feel good to, like, not be accepted by your family, so if you are family of a trans person, especially a young trans person, or a trans person that's just come out, please just, like, try more. It genuinely hurts a lot to not have family and this was filmed a month ago by the way i'm nine months on t now uh yeah um just be nice to your family that's literally all anyone wants is love and support from their family like that's basically all this video is about just fucking love your kids and support them in anything they do if it makes them happy and it's not hurting them and it's not hurting anyone else why are you against it why what's the point like literally why okay well let's see what i was saying i just want at least one parent to accept their kid a little bit more after watching this because i want this to show you this is what your child if you are not accepting your child this is what they're doing in their room at night. This is, they're hiding in their room, scared to talk to you because you don't accept them. And it is scary. It is a scary thing. And I understand that. And they understand that too. But at some point, you just have to say, do I love my child? And if the answer is yes, then get over it because it's still it's still your kid it's the same person they just have a different name it's exactly the same person my grandma keeps telling me it feels like a loss to her because she's lost two sons and i keep telling her would you have rather me killed myself as a girl or would you have rather me started to love and accept myself as a man because it's either you, I literally kill myself, or you just don't say my birth name anymore. It's, I genuinely will never understand why people have such a hard time accepting trans people. There's nothing wrong with us. All we want is to be called the, the, the name that we want to be called. All we want is to be called the correct pronoun. We just want to exist we don't want to hurt you we don't want to take anything from you we're not doing anything we just want to be ourselves and not want to die hi popping in again um i'm nine months on t now and my name is also legally changed and my gender marker isn't on my license yet which is the only thing but yeah yay that's what i was saying here but like outdated if you're a 13, 14, 15 year old trans person, or just anyone actually that is unaccepted by their family, I can be your family. I don't have any either. You can, I need some too. As I said, I would genuinely not be where I am today or alive even if it wasn't for the community that I found on the internet after coming out um yes chosen family is very important just letting everyone know thank you parents don't be scared if your kids tell you they're trans it's not a scary thing you have to help them understand it and they will help you understand i genuinely cannot stress enough how much happier I would have been in my life if I had supportive family. I genuinely cannot tell you enough how much I how much different everything would have been if I just would have been able to come home and hear Dan instead of my birth name or if I were to hear my son or my grandson instead of my daughter or my granddaughter those small things, parents and grandparents 
or just family in general of trans people don't understand makes such a big difference it's literally just a different word it's just a word just use it it's really not that difficult if i didn't come out i would probably have killed myself if i didn't have the friends that i have now i probably would have killed myself and if i didn't have my few cousins that support me i would not be here as i said my biggest problem with everything just in general with being trans is supporting like my my family supporting me i don't really talk to my family that much anymore not even necessarily because of that some of them it is because of that but i used to be inseparable from my aunt i lived with her at one time the first time I had to leave my mom's and this was before I was out as anything this was actually when I was starting to realize that I like wasn't straight and cis at first I thought I was pansexual <laughs> and then I thought I was a lesbian which transformed into being a trans guy that is bisexual which is who I am and if you're offended by that, I'm sorry, but I've done nothing to hurt you. And my existence should not make a difference in your life because I'm doing absolutely nothing to you. Even if the parents that take something away from this video aren't my family, that's great. I don't care. Even if it doesn't help me, if it helps someone else, that's fucking fantastic. Because no one deserves to wonder who's gonna take care of them when they have surgery um, i'm making my roommate take care of and me no actually one deserves to wonder if their family still loves them no one fucking deserves this and it's terrible that it happens so often parents of trans youth just please just try to understand it's a process which your child most likely understands yes it is a process and it's not gonna happen overnight even my friends have messed up my pronouns sometimes but they're the friends that have known me for like 10 years you know and like grew up with me as my birth name and as a girl it's understandable if you slip up sometimes but it's not understandable if you don't fucking try if you're not trying, you are killing your child. All you're, you're doing nothing but negative things for your kid. And you might think you're doing something good by ignoring it. But you're just making it worse. I cannot tell you the amount of times I fucking cried myself to sleep. Because my family doesn't understand it. Despite me trying to explain it for years. I have lost family because of being trans i've lost friends because of being trans i it's not something you should lose people over it's not a bad thing and you shouldn't be ashamed of it if you're trans which i was for a long time my someone in my family um a lot of times tries to turn it around and say well how do you think this makes me feel you can't say that to your child that is going through this if that is genuinely one of the worst things you can say to a trans person how do you think this makes me feel because you are not the one going through surgeries you're not the one going through legal name change processes you're not the one being bullied about it you're not the one fearing for your life just for fucking walking outside all you have to do is support your child and be there for them. It's not overnight. It's not going to happen in two days. But I have been out for almost four years. And hardly any of my family calls me Dan. None of my immediate family does. I spent years hating myself 
because of it. Because my family didn't accept me. And your family is who's supposed to accept you. Your family is who you're supposed to come to for everything. This is going to be fun to edit. Okay, foreshadowing. <laughs> Parents, please just accept your trans kids or your gay kids or your bi pit kids. Accept LGBT youth and you can save their lives. You don't understand what difference it makes. My mom called me Dan once on the phone and I hung up and cried for 20 minutes. Being trans isn't something that's fun or cute. It's panic attacks, it's anxiety attacks, it's being disowned, it's being fucking terrified of leaving your house it's being scared of going to school going to work scared you're gonna get fired just because you exist it's terrifying to be honest and when your family is part of the problem it's just 10 times harder i don't want people to go through what i'm going through with my family, but I unfortunately know that a lot of them do. And it fucking sucks, and I'm sorry. I understand what you're going through, and it'll get better. You just have to find your group of people. They might be online, they might be at the GSA at your school, they might be at the GSA. Is there most works don't have like GSAs, but I've never been happier in life. And I genuinely owe like 90% of that transitioning and being accepted. And I genuinely cannot thank the people that have helped me enough. If you're a parent and you're watching this and you are like, I don't understand why my kid's trans. Why are they doing this? Talk to them. Don't yell at them. Don't get mad at them. Have a calm conversation with them. Because I wish that's what I had. I wish I was able to sit down with my family and explain these things to them. And explain scientific facts to them. And explain to them, I won't want to die anymore once I'm done. And I knew I wouldn't be suicidal anymore once I got top surgery. I haven't been, I haven't had a suicidal thought since April when I moved out on my own. Because I stopped being dead named every day and I stopped being referred to as she and her and a girl and the day that stopped was the day I first genuinely felt happy. I have never really cried because of being happy. In the past week, I've probably cried four times over being happy because of top surgery. And that's it was also kind of off of testosterone, so my hormones were kind of, you know, like, yeah. Okay, I guess that's all. Um, like and subscribe, I guess. Comment if this helped you at all, because I really hope it helped at least one person understand. Like, yeah, it was kind of all over the place, and I apologize. <laughs> but that's just kind of my brain right now. Yeah, the beginning of this video is what an anxiety attack looks like. <coughs> for me, at least. Ooh. Not everyone. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching and listening, if you did. Bye. <laughs>